Welcome back. 843. You know, we talked about this a lot on the show. You might remember back in August, historic floods hit the state of Louisiana. 13 people were killed and more than 60,000 homes damaged. The Red Cross actually says that this was the worst disaster since Hurricane Sandy back in 2012. And these two puppies we have with us this morning, they were rescued from those floods. They were brought all the way here to the Pacific Northwest to find brand new homes. And we're hoping someone out there, maybe you watching right now, can help. Laura Henderson is the executive director of Posado Safe Haven. She joins us this morning. And Wendy as well, helping us to wrangle these sweet dogs. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Thank so you. much for having us. Thanks for coming. This is a pretty incredible feat that you guys have done, getting these dogs all the way from Louisiana all the way up here to the Pacific Northwest. Absolutely. I mean, when you're fighting to help animals, it really takes everyone working together. And yeah. we're, we're super fortunate to have a a network of other rescues that we work with. Um, Kitsap Humane helped with this rescue, and of course Delta Humane Society in uh, North Louisiana. And I'm sure you can tell if, you, uh, if, if you've had any experience at all with puppies. We have two <laughs> puppies here, and you can tell from the puppy energy. This is Noelle, and you are with Bumble right now. This is actually Noelle, and this is Bumble. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, and I believe mixed it them or up. not, Noelle is the shy one, so she's right feeling there. very comfortable here yeah, with she you. Is. Yeah, and what what kind of home do you think they would do well in? You know, these are pretty great dogs, so they could do well in a lot of different homes. I mean, uh, kids are fine. Uh, they're, they seem to do well with other pets. Mm -hmm. So we're really optimistic that they're going to find a great home. Pretty. Uh, I, I, I remember reading when, when they came to you guys, there was no socialization. They had not been walked on a leash. So yeah. these dogs have really come a long way. They sure have. They sure have. Yeah, they walk on leashes. They're still, you know, puppies kind of getting used to the, the big world. But uh, they're doing great. They're really doing great. And these are just, let's, I mean, let's think about how many pets are probably displaced or how many strays are probably in Louisiana during these floods. Uh, do you expect more dogs to perhaps come out of this area and, and need some homes? Well, sh uh, sure, it's, it's likely. Um, what happens when there are natural disasters like this is that the animals that, that are harmed by the flooding or the storms displace the dogs that are already in right. whatever shelter facilities they do have, which is often not very much. Yeah. So we're so fortunate to live in an area where there are, are a lot of resources. So that's why we bring these little sweet creatures up here and um, share them with your viewers. You guys yeah. do so many great things for the animals. We certainly appreciate that. And, and if people are watching right now and they're going, that's definitely our next dog, or <laughs> we want to add them to the family, how do they get in contact with you? They can go to our website, posadosafehaven.org, and fill out an adoption questionnaire and uh, that'll get the ball rolling. All right, I'm so, so glad that you guys had the opportunity to rescue these two dogs from Louisiana. What Absolutely. a story they have now. They sure do, they sure do, and I'm sure they have many more ahead for themselves. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much, Laura, absolutely. And again, thanks for what you do for the dogs. Thank you. And I'm so sorry we had to keep you uh, in one <laughs> spot. This dog wants to go and have some fun. Again, if you want more information, check out the website, and hopefully, I'm sure, these dogs will get adopted very soon. We we, we think so. They're really wonderful dogs. Yeah, they, they'd be a loving addition to any home. They're so sweet. Thank yeah. you again. Thank you. Uh, hey, MJ, over to you this morning.